Rosie Mercado's 75 inch hips gave her notoriety in the world of plus size modeling. But now that she's lost over 30 inches from her frame, the controversy still continues. As long as I can remember, I've always been the center of controversy. Whether it was modeling at 410 pounds with a 75 inch hip, or going through a drastic transformation of changing my life and losing 240 pounds. I was heavy growing up. You get used to it, you get accustomed to that life. Several years ago, I was taking a flight to New York. At the time, I weighed 420 pounds. While I was getting ready to board, one of the flight attendants runs up to me and says, right in front of everybody, if you want to get on there, you need to purchase a second seat because there's no way you're going to fit in one seat. I was so embarrassed, I just started crying. Some people were laughing, other people were literally with their mouth open in shock. You could hear the whispers of, she doesn't fit in one seat. I was an emotional wreck. Basically, I could have just had a billboard saying, too fat to fit in one seat. On that plane ride, I had four and a half hours to think, and I decided I needed to change it, and I needed to change it quick. So I got life coach, I got a trainer, I got a nutritionist. That lifestyle change was so difficult. You go to the gym and everybody's staring at you. I couldn't even do a push-up. I could not push my own body weight up. But then comes the other side. In one year, I lost 100 pounds and did not want to go back. So I got a gastric sleeve. After the gastric sleeve, I lost another 140 pounds. I felt better than ever, but I remember standing in front of the mirror and getting dressed. And yes, I lost 240 pounds, but I had so much skin around my stomach and around my hips just hanging. So I decided to get a tummy tuck. They removed 20 pounds of excess skin. I transformed my body and then some of my fans turned on me. They, they started sending me hate mail. I got shamed for losing weight. No longer was I relatable. I sold out to the plus size communities. I'm never gonna forget that one said, you no longer inspire me. Please do us all a favor. Just kill yourself for, lo for losing weight. What are your thoughts on Donald Trump and fat shaming? Donald Trump, he's showing that it's okay to fat shame someone, that it's okay to degrade a woman. He is perpetuating unhealthy body standards and it is not okay. Thankfully, being 420 pounds taught me to have thick skin. And at the end of the day, you have to have the clarity of saying, I did this for me. And from there, you're gonna walk in peace. Please welcome Rosie Mercado to the show. You look Hola. fabulous, what? if I may Hola. say Hola. so. Hola, Yo estoy muy bien. ¿Y usted cómo está? Muy bien, gracias. Ah, hello. Mucho gusto en conocerla. Un placer. Okay. Qué guapo está usted. Muy bien, gracias. Ah, yeah. you can take the compliment. <laughs> ¿Hablas español? Uh, solamente un poco. Okay, un there we go. Okay. What bone structure? Wow. Oh, well, thank Cheekbones. you. Thank you. Beautiful. I think having you on the show, I love it because you represent to me Sometimes, no matter what you do when you're in the public eye, no matter what, you're gonna get fat shamed, then you lost a lot of weight, took control of your health, and now you're getting skinny shamed. I think um, it's important to have body positivity. Love yourself the way that you are. You don't like something, it's your choice to change it. I learned throughout the process that I had to do this because of me. It wasn't to please people, it wasn't for my career, it wasn't for anybody but for me. And to have a life of vitality and energy and choices, the freedom of choice of being able to sit here and not say, Travis, is this, is this gonna break? Or to say, can I go to a theater? Or for the first time, two weeks ago, on a, on a roller coaster for the first time in my life. Um, I never had that experience before because I was too big to get on there. I remember one time I tried and they tried closing and it pinched so much. They, he, he's like, it's not gonna close. You can't get on the roller coaster. I went zip lining for the first time. That freedom of choice and having those spontaneous moments in my life, that for me is everything. So I learned I have to do it because of me. People were always gonna criticize me. They still tell me, first they tell me that I'm no longer plus. They told me to go kill myself because I had lost all the weight. And it's just a lesson, do what you love because you wanna be happy and that's all that matters.